Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm the cow. Wake out the woke goddess. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. I hope everyone is having a day of knowing that your grass is greener. I'm also having a day knowing that my grass is greener. I appreciate all the love and support. And thanks again for tuning in with me for another video. For today's topic, subject title is going to be on. It's going to be about, it's going to be titled, Us Chosen Ones. Us Targeted Individuals. Us TIs. Our grass is greener. Being as chosen ones and as targeted individuals and as TIs, it seems like we got the hardest life. It seems like we get bad luck all the time. It seems like nothing goes right in our life. It's like we're constantly on a bad luck streak. And it's like our life is just so hard. It's like things don't go smooth. Things don't go right. It's like something always goes wrong and something always come up all the time because the enemy and the devil is always busy. The enemy and the devil is always working. And it seems like everything goes against us all the time. It's like things can't go through smooth. It's like it's a hassle. It's static. It's confusion and it's like it's a problem with everything. It seems like it's a problem in everything that we do. But we don't naturally have bad luck. It's not natural bad luck. It's evil forces and evil people that's working against us. It's the evil demiurge, an evil demonic spirits, evil entities, and evil people, and evil demon workers. It's demons and evil people that work for these demons and devils. It's them. They're putting roadblocks and stumbling blocks in front of us. They're blocking our path all the time. They're blocking our path so we don't have easy access to success and prosperity and to luck. They're sabotaging everything that we do. They're sabotaging our career, our finances, our love life our peace because these people that work for demons and the devil and they work for the government they gang stalkers they do witchcraft these people don't have no peace all these people that are gang stalkers that sold their soul they are slaves to the beast. They are slaves to this beast system. They have no peace. The demons own them. The demons, the beasts, and this beast system, it owns them because they can't just stop gang stalking anytime they want to. They can't just stop being gang stalkers. They can't just stop. If they stop, then the beast is going to kill them or make their life a living hell. And these devils and demons and the government that runs this program, the rulers of this gang stalking program, they're going to make their life 
a living hell. Any gang stalker that stops and quit on their own or become a whistleblower, they start exposing truth, exposing this program, and exposing all the evil experiments they're doing on TIs and chosen ones, those that have awareness and knowledge and alert about this evil, demonic, third dimensional realm, third dimensional matrix. Gang stalkers that become whistleblowers and exposed by the government that is in charge of this gang stalker program use us TIs, use us targets as guinea pigs, we use as test rabbits, we used as test subjects. If they expose it, that they're going to start gang stalking the gang stalkers. They will start gang stalking the ones that were gang stalkers. They will start gang stalking the perps. Or they might kill them. You know, they're whistleblowing, they're making a video, whistleblowing, exposing truth, and then next week or a few days, they're gone. You don't see or hear from them no more. They're gone. They got rid of them. They deleted them. So these gang stalkers and perps don't have it easy. It may seem like they got it easy, but they're slaves. They got to do what they're told to. Just for some money, some rewards, some perks, and some gift cards. So they're slaves. They don't have the peace of mind like us TIs and chosen ones. Us TIs and chosen ones, we got peace of mind. We're not no slave to no one. We're not slaves to no beast system. We're not slaves to these evil devils and demons that's ruling all this evilness and got this matrix and uh, all this chaos and got everything hectic and causing all this havoc and bringing down all this evil wrath on society. All the evil wrath is being brought down on us chosen ones, us TIs, us targets, us targeted individuals, us that is conscious. We're aware of the evils of this matrix and we're aware of how corrupt and crooked this government system is. We're aware that politics is dirty. Politics stinks. The government is corrupt. It's just all the senators and Congress. It's just all corruption and crookedness. And I chose the ones that T.I.s with a high with a high conscious level. We're alert and aware about all this. We got all this spiritual knowledge, all this conscious knowledge, and the evil ones know it. The evil rulers, the powers that be, the elites, they know all of this. They know it. And that's why they put all the evil wrath on us. Because it can't deceive us. We've woken up of the matrix. We're woke. We're not asleep. So that's why they do all this evil and the witchcraft on us, they gang stalk us, harass us. That's why they put all these 
stumbling blocks and roadblocks in our way. That's why they put all these bumps and curves on our road, on our life path. That's why they torture us. That's why they is, is torturing us and trying to make us suffer and be miserable. That's why they're trying to give us a miserable life. It's because we're onto their games. We're onto their BS. We're totally onto them. We're onto them. And the TIs that were targets, but they sold out and became perps. All the TIs they got weak. They got tired of being gang stalked. So they got tired and they were so weak that they sold out. They sold their soul. They became sellouts and they became a perp. They were TIs that got turned into being a perp. There were TIs that got turned into perps, all because they was too weak and, and could not handle, stay strong, and fight back against this gang stalking program. So now they are slaves. They became slaves. They sold their life away. They sold their life over to the beasts. And now they're suffering. Like I said, because they're slaves and they ain't got no freedom and they ain't got peace of mind, they ain't got peace or freedom like us TIs, like us chosen ones. Us chosen ones, the TIs, we got freedom. No one's telling us that we got to go out, watch, watch, stalk, and arrest someone, wear a red shirt, drive a red car with one headlight, and got put scratches on someone's car, and put nails in their tires. We got to destroy things on their property. We got to sneak inside their homes and steal their property for holes and their clothes for holes and their shirts and poison their food us chosen ones us chosen ones the TIs we, we ain't got to orders like that we ain't got to orders to do evil to other Innocent people. We're not doing evil to innocent citizens. We're not slaves to the beast and got to take these evil orders and do evil to innocent citizens. Innocent people. We ain't got to do that because. We're not slaves to no beast or no beast system. We're not slaves to this evil system, this corrupt, this crooked, rigged up, dirty system. We got peace of mind. We got peace and freedom. And that's why I say our grass is greener. Because we're not slaves. We got peace of free. It may seem like our life is so hard. It's because they torture us. It's because they put in these problems, these troubles, and these obstacles, and these struggles in our way. They're putting it before us. But we still got peace and freedom. We're not slaves. No one own us. We own our own self. We own our own self. 
we are in charge of our own self. We're ruling our own self. We are we are our own boss. We got peace and freedom. And I don't evil. So in the afterlife, we're not going to be reincarnated and come back down here on this matrix again. All the gang stalkers, all the perps. And the afterlife, they're going to pay for gang stalking people. They're going to pay for it. They're going to pay for making us TIs and Target's life miserable. They're going to pay for all the misery and evil they did and inflicted on us. Inflicted upon us. So in the other life, they're going to pay. They got to pay and they're going to be reincarnated back down here on this matrix and got to do and got to live this life and do they got to live this life and deal with all the evilness uh, they got to live their life they back down here on this matrix and got to they got to relive their life got to redo everything and put up with all this BS all over again on this matrix on this evil realm this evil earth this evil planet and for us and that the life we do evil so we're not being reincarnated so we got peace we got freedom okay and the afterlife we ain't do no evil to no one we didn't sell our soul we didn't sell out so we were never sellouts so in the afterlife we're not going to reincarnate and come back down here again we're going to ascend ascend higher to the next dimension the next realm the next planet the next galaxy <laughs> in the spiritual world in the spiritual realm so that's why I say that our grass is greener stop looking on the outside of what someone else has because you don't know how their life is behind closed doors, behind the veil, behind the mirror. You don't know what their life is, what they're going through, what they what they gotta do. You don't know what they did to get what they got and what they doing to keep what they got. You don't know who they sold they sold to, who they is a slave for, who owns them. You don't know. If you look inside someone else life, it might look like they got everything all together and it, and their life is so perfect. It, it might look like they got. It might look like they got everything all together, and their life is so perfect, and their life is peaches and cream. It's all glitz and glamour. It may look like they got all the pieces of the puzzle of their life together, and it, it may seem like they got the pieces of the puzzle of their life together. It may seem like their life is so much in order. It's organized. Their life is so much in order and perfect. Their life is so perfect. Everything is so perfect in their life. No one life is perfect. No one has a perfect life. A lot of people just don't tell you their problems. And no one has a perfect life. Anyone say they do, they're lying to you. They're lying to you. They're lying to you because they want you to be jealous of them. 
and envy them. It will seem like there's so much over top of you, doing better than you, they're ahead of you. That's why they lie to you and pretend that their life is so perfect. But no one life is perfect. No one has a perfect life. Everyone has problems. Everyone that's living on this matrix and stuck in this matrix has problems. It's just some people don't tell you their problems. And some people make their problems look easier and better than yours. Yeah, so that's why I say you can look inside someone else's life and see that their life is a bunch a shattered glass. It's really a bunch of shattered dreams undercover underneath the surface. So because of all that, that's why I say that us chosen ones and TIs, us target, us target the individuals. If we stop looking at someone else backyard and stop looking and focusing on their grass, stop looking and focusing on on their backyard and their grass appear to be so perfect and so much better more successful and more prosperous than yours. Instead of doing that, we got to look inside our own backyard and look at our own grass. Be grateful, thankful, and appreciative for what we have. We got to be thankful, grateful, and appreciative for what we already have. We got to be thankful and accept and be happy with the blessings that we have. We got to be happy, accept and be happy with the blessings that the true creator of the universe has given us. Because, be grateful because there's always someone... There's always someone that's worse off than you. Someone, situation, and case is always more worse or far worse than yours. So I gotta be grateful, so I gotta be grateful thankful, appreciative, accept, accept and be happy with what the true creator has given us. And if we look inside our own backyard and look at our own grass, they will realize that our backyard and our grass is just as good, is just as green or is greener than the other's backyard and the Others grass. Yeah, that's what's chosen was to eyes. Let's target the individuals. Let's targets have to realize and know. We we got to grasp the concept of this. We got to grasp the concept and the spiritual knowledge of this. See, we got to always a balance between the spiritual and the physical. We got to put all these aspects. We have to grasp, know, and put all these aspects of life into the right perspective on the spiritual side and the physical side. The spiritual and physical side must be in balance, entwined, attuned, and in harmony with each other for our life to be 
and balance and harmony and tuned and twined. Okay, so I appreciate all the love and support. Okay, and thanks again for tuning in with me for another video. I will see you all again in my next video. And your rest of your day, I know that your grass is greener. I'm also going to enjoy the rest of my day and know that my grass is greener. Well, that's all the chosen ones, all the TIs, all the targeted individuals that's out there. I love you all. I truly, as a silly me, that from the bottom of my heart. Bye, chosen ones. Bye, targeted individuals. Bye, TIs. Bye. 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 And again, it's your girl, Mikkel. Mikkel the Woke Goddess. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Sign it out. Until next time, I'll see you. My love, whole love, full love.